This is Mike with Bill Brothers. We're at 3576 Torrey View Court doing a roof inspection on a concrete s tile roof. Homeowners having leaks uh, in the master bedroom. Um, roof's got solar on it. Put it in about a year ago. I uh, believe the roof is 20 plus years old. And what we're looking for is uh, I'm in the master bedroom, I believe, right now. So there's solar here, there's a dormer vent. Uh, you got a T-top over here. General condition of the tiles seem to be in pretty decent shape. That's pretty normal. I mean, concrete tiles will last you 50 plus years. Um, but what's happening up here, as you can tell, it's an older roof. This valley right here, it's where the two, the two areas meet, is really tight. And you've got slip tile right there, you got a slip tile down there. What happens is water gets in here and it diverts funny. And that could be what's hitting the spot there too. But that's a design function. You know, that's how they used to do it. We don't do that anymore. You've got pipe vents that are, have caulking that's open and exposed. Um, you've got more solar on this roof. Uh, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. What do we have down here? 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 panels on the system. Got a big metal flashing um, on it, on the brackets, which they are going through the tile, but around the tile and into the rafter, they should be, you know, not knowing who put it on, but the cracked tile over there on that dormer vent as well. Let's head over here. Again, another valley, really tight. You can kind of see how tight that is. And debris is going to get stuck and then divert the water around in different ways. Same with over here. Right there as well. You got a slip tile down there. Um, so what's happening is just as, you know, when the roof ages, um, things like this, just over time, the water is going to sneak in somewhere. You know, you've got a bunch of debris backing up here. Nowadays, we would kind of leave that gap open a little bit more so debris can get in there and kind of get pushed around and off the roof. And you would have a tile pan that would run off the chimney there. So, you know, in general, trying to track the leak, it could be coming from the valley, it could be coming from underneath the solar. But, you know, the best thing to do right now would be to do a lift and reset on the roof, reuse the tiles, but put the roof back together, you know, using, uh, you know, really nice underlayment very watertight open up the valleys you get all new metal we don't use these dormer vents anymore um, they have a tendency to leak so we use what they call O'Hagan vents they're a much more low profile vent the other thing is you can put the solar over the, the smaller O'Hagan vents and that you could actually rise your, bring your solar up higher so that you'd have maybe you know possibly a little bit better solar production depending on which way they're facing but uh, we'll discuss all these options with the homeowner go from there.